Today, we're breaking it down and revealing the best settings and configurations for four top Android emulators that will give you maximum performance, high FPS, and smooth gameplay. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which emulator fits your PC and gaming style perfectly. First, the most popular. BlueStacks remains the most compatible and stable Android emulator. It comes in two main versions, BlueStacks 5 and BlueStacks 4. BlueStacks 5 offers several Android versions. For the best performance, mid-range PCs work best with two CPU cores and four gigabytes of RAM, while high-end systems can safely use four CPU cores along with six to eight gigabytes of RAM. For best performance, BlueStacks should always be set to high performance mode, balanced for mid-range devices and low memory for low-end or older devices. Set the frame rate to 240 frames per second and make sure the enable high frame rate option is turned on. For display resolution, always use your native display resolution for me, 1920 by 1080, or you can decrease it if you face low FPS. For pixel density, 240 DPI is the best option. Vulkan is the preferred graphics renderer for modern games, but OpenGL can be used if Vulkan causes issues. Interface Renderer Auto is fine, a very important option. If you have a GPU, make sure Enable Preferred Dedicated GPU is turned on to ensure smoother graphics. Don't worry if you don't have a GPU, it will use the CPU. Now open the phone options and select a smartphone profile that will be used by the emulator. I prefer to use the Asus ROG 2. This setup is ideal for users who want smooth, long gaming sessions, strong compatibility, and consistent FPS across most games. Now LD Player is built for speed and responsiveness, making it a favorite for competitive and fast-paced games. LD Player 9 is the latest version, and it also has older versions available for lower-end systems. For display settings in LD Player, you have a bunch of categories, but I prefer to use the tablet option and always use your monitor's native display resolution. If a game runs slow or you face lag issues, then decrease it. Make sure you enable standard mode, which is 60 frames per second, as most games run smoothly there. You can also try high FPS mode, which ranges from 90 to 240 FPS and is mostly used in racing games. Leave V-Sync unchecked. Most systems perform well with three to four CPU cores and four to six gigabytes of RAM, while stronger PCs can push up to eight gigabytes of RAM. For the preset phone model, I like to use the ROG 8 Pro, which is currently one of the best phones. This emulator is best for competitive players who want maximum FPS and minimal input delay. Next up, Moo Moo Player focuses on delivering very high frame rates with smooth visuals. Let's configure the best settings for Moo Moo Player. Vulkan is the best graphics option for high performance and visuals, but DirectX 11 works better on systems where Vulkan is unstable, especially on low-end PCs, of course, with lower graphics. Here, the categories are clearly labeled as low, medium, and high, which makes them very easy to understand. Mid-range PCs should use four CPU cores and four to six gigabytes RAM, while high-end PCs can go up to six cores and six gigabytes RAM. Resolution should only be increased if your GPU can handle it, with 1080p being the sweet spot for most users. It also delivers DPI 280. Moo Moo has an option to customize FPS. You can go up to 240 FPS, which is massive. Of course, your hardware needs to be powerful enough to handle it. Leave V-Sync unchecked. For the device model, like the others, select the ROG 9 phone for best compatibility. Moo Moo is ideal for users who want high FPS with better visual quality on mid to high-end PCs. Game Loop is Tencent's official emulator and is heavily optimized for FPS games like PUBG Mobile, COD Mobile, and Warzone Mobile. Finally, let's configure Game Loop for the best experience. There's nothing much to do in the basic settings. Move to the Engine tab here. DirectX Plus is the best engine to start with, offering a good balance between performance and visuals, while OpenGL Plus can be tested if stutters appear. You can also try Auto and let the emulator decide the renderer. Game Loop has an anti-aliasing option. Here, memory refers to RAM. You can go up to 8 gigabytes. For processing, you can select 8 cores if you have them, but 4 cores are safe for everyone. Use 1080p for balanced graphics and performance, and switch to 720p for smoother gameplay and higher FPS, especially on low-end devices. Screen DPI 240 is perfect. For the phone model, I think you already know what I'm going to 
to select, the ASUS ROG 7. Now the special feature of GameLoop, you can separately set the resolution and graphics quality. I prefer to use HD 1080, which seems stable for high configurations and for graphics quality, choose Smooth. GameLoop is best for shooter-focused players, especially on low to mid-range PCs, where responsiveness matters more than visuals. That's it, the ultimate 2026 guide to Android emulator settings. Get smoother visuals, higher FPS, and lower input lag with these emulators. Try the settings, fine-tune them for your PC, and enjoy better gameplay. Take care.